In my first year in the App Store I made just few bucks, but since then I more just doubled that revenue every year. I'm still waiting for final numbers for 2023 and I will publish them in newsletter, but seems that this year's passive revenue will be over 50k in App Store sales. Historically there are just two ways to generate passive, real passive revenue. You take money you can afford to lose and you put it in two places. Stock market of course or real estate. Basically you are buying houses, hotels, whatever, I don't know, apartment and renting it for Airbnb and hoping that eventually your investments will grow. Stock market and real estate usually is growing, but problem is that you or I just don't have enough money to invest in them. Well, that's a nice metaphor. Usually most of the investments are safe, but you can lose a part of them. If you're born rich, congrats, probably you don't need to keep watching, but what if you poor like me in my 20s and have less than thousand, let's say, hundred bucks to invest? How fast you will become rich investing your hundred bucks? Well, right, probably that will never happen. Even if you will invest your hundred bucks very well and will get hundred percent in return, let's say in a year that still will be two hundred bucks, so... So, but where to invest if get rich schemes are a lie? So, invest in yourself. Invest those hundred thousand or whatever money you have in books and courses to become more qualified to earn more. If you don't have money, invest your time. You can learn programming for free. Open YouTube and start learning. You can learn programming. You can learn product design. Just be consistent, invest your time and you will get there. If you already know how to program, perhaps you need to learn about marketing, about product design. And if you know all of that, great, start building products and you will be unstoppable. So you learned skills, started freelancing or maybe even launched your own product and started to earn more money. Nice. Sure, do not forget about savings, but also keep investing in yourself. Buy maybe better MacBook to be faster and definitely buy courses, books, maybe some mentorship programs, whatever helps you to keep growing, to keep leveling up. And sure, you can learn everything for free nowadays. You don't need to buy expensive courses or something, but courses and books helps you to move faster because you already have all the information structured for you ready for consume and learn instead of searching around the internet and looking for answers to questions you maybe don't even know yet so keep investing in yourself all the new year uh, installations looks very funny here in middle of the winter and it's plus 28 here right now but back in home it minus 10 so maybe i will stay here until spring driving in european downtowns is poor fun <laughs> you better don't have a big car here when i'm renting cars in spain or italy i usually sticking with something small yeah parking's here not an easy task but done <laughs> Back to the beach. I don't like concept about passive revenue or passive income because usually it is used to sell you some shit course about investment in crypto or real estate or teaching some dropshipping. Currently I'm on paid vacation from my consulting job so technically I'm paid to be on beach 28 days per year but that revenue is still connected to my working hours and it is obvious that vacations from day job or in between freelancing projects is not passive income. Yes, passive revenue is a lie, but it is possible to disconnect time and your earnings. On the regular job you are selling your time for money, basically you are selling your life in small pieces, which is completely fine, everyone does that, but if you will build a small portfolio with mobile apps, you can earn money while you are sleeping or surfing on vacation, or just waiting for your coffee in Starbucks line. Hey, Ivers, close enough. <laughs> sure, you still need to keep investing uh, time and money back in your business. I'm buying books and courses almost every month just to keep learning and I don't know, just do not fall behind on my skills. If I will not update and support my apps for months, the revenue will start to decline slowly, but um, they can run on autopilot without the support for a while. 
I would lie if I'm saying that I'm earning passive revenue from my applications, but it feels close to that. So perhaps you would like to start working on side projects as well.